everybody. Welcome to Brantford Public Library Paint Club. So my name is Val and every two weeks we meet here to do paint projects for kids of all ages. Not only to be creative and have fun, but for a nice relaxing and calming activity. So this week's paint project is going to be pointillism, which is a technique of painting with dots, um, painting them close together to form an image. And this technique was developed by artist Georges Seurat back in 1886. So all we need today to paint, I will show you now. So for today's paint project, all we'll need is some paper, some Q-tips to make your dots, or a craft stick, or the end of a pencil using the eraser, and of course, some paint. Let's get started. Now we're ready to start painting. My first example here is geared at the preschool age kids and it's just a simple heart. It'd be great practice for tracing lines as we form dots all around the heart and then fill it in with dots and you can do different colors. My second example here is geared at older kids. So I drew a simple landscape here, but you could draw whatever you'd like. You could print one off as well too. I'm going to show you the heart here and just do a few dots just to show you. So I just dipped it lightly in paint and doing dots next to each other around the heart. For my landscape scene as well, I like tracing. I'm going to trace my house first and then fill it in with color. I'm going to work on that and I'll show you the end result. So I'm all done painting. Here on the left we have our heart for our younger preschool kids. Um, I did a blue outline around the heart, some purple and some stripes in the middle. I'd love to see what you do with yours. On the right here we have the landscape for our older friends. Um, I, as you can see I painted the house, the grass, a path leading up to a house, and the horizon in the background. I had lots of fun painting with this technique of pointillism and I hope you do too. I hope you had fun painting today with pointillism painting and tiny dots from the Brentford Public Library Paint Club. I found this technique especially calming because it's not quick to do when you're painting in dots. So you could paint for 10 or 15 minutes and then go back do something else and then come back and paint some more. Just a reminder to visit brantfordlibrary.ca for lots more home-based activities this summer. And also, don't forget to sign up for the Kids Summer Reading Club. Sign up online and you'll get prizes and more. See you next time. Bye!